to look a little bit into self-request. Self-request. There are a million strategies to meet needs. And there are always in any, whenever I have a need, I, I, I'm aware that I can make requests for, you know, for my favorite person. And I can make, I don't know, let's say, for example, I, I long for a touch. Let's say I can, you know, make a request for my girlfriend. Hey, would you like to cuddle with me? And if she say no, yeah, still, I'm not dead. My baby need is not dead. Like there are still million strategies to meet my need. I can, you know, ask uh, Anish, hey, Anish, can I get a hug from you? Or I can even also make requests for myself. Like, hey, maybe I want to give myself a self-massage. And actually a request for myself, there are, I, I'm doing thousands of self-requests every day without being conscious about it. I don't know, for example, I, I want to write an article and then I notice, oh, I need focus. Hey, I will go to make myself a coffee. And it's a self-request. Or, yeah, or I don't know, I, I had an intense day and I'm tired and then I'm like, oh, when I get home, I want to take a bath. Self-request. And I'm, I'm constantly actually making requests for myself. And then comes a deep, very, very deep habit, which is how do I make requests for myself unconsciously? How do I speak with myself all day long without even noticing? And that became for me, like, you know, when I met NVC, I thought it's about how to speak with people, how to speak with my girlfriend, how to speak with my parents, how to... And the more I dived into NVC, the more I see it's actually the, the thing that has the biggest effect on my life is how do I speak with myself all day long without even noticing? You know, for example, self-judgments. Constantly I judge myself. Oh, I'm not enough this, I'm not this, I, I, I'm lazy, I'm not disciplined enough. Constantly I, and that's really what takes that 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 has the biggest influence on my mood on my quality of life how do i speak with myself all day long without even notice and today i want to focus on self requests and in the context of what we practice like how many times a day do i say to myself as a request what i shouldn't do like negative language request for example i imagine many of you tried to make a diet with negative language requests, like I shouldn't eat this cookie. <laughs> I, 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 I shouldn't, I should stop, <laughs> you know, I should stop eating now. I ate already too much. And just like with outside, you know, making negative language requests may create resistance, immediate resistance. If I say to myself, I should not eat this cookie, it's just the same, the same viciousness as when I told you, hey, would you like a cake with a, you know, with a whipped cream on it? We don't have one. No, don't think about pink elephant. So I want to practice also with myself how to actually say what I want to put an image in my head about what I want instead of what I don't want. And that really goes even deeper into my deeper, deepest habits. So I like to do a little practice of it. It's, it's a, for me, it's a slow process that to, in a way to slowly that my brain, when I'm unconscious even, start to speak with myself a language of life. I, I, I really enjoy it when I, I have dreams in NVC. Imagine maybe some of you have that kind of, suddenly that in your dream, you start to speak NVC with your, with, in a situation and this for me that kind of the sign when it starts to really enter into my system it's even when i'm unconscious it's my brain start to speak to me and that for me really it's what i would say that's the source of my power like what the most give me the power to do what i'm doing is this slow process of letting my brain learn to speak to myself a language of life Thank you.